so-called right-wing populist Sagar Anjeti, who is a co-host on The Hill Rising with Crystal Ball, recently had a piping hot take that kind of proves why the left is right to question both the authenticity and existence altogether of this phenomenon supposedly known as right-wing populism. Because if you believe what he tweeted he believes, then you're no populist. So he states, Today, a riser posted a story of himself smoking weed and watching rising. It greatly distressed me. So to counteract it, I'm asking that other risers post Insta stories doing literally anything else while watching the show. I will repost them all. What? <laughs> Why did somebody smoking weed distress you? It distressed you so much that you're willing to to post anything else instead of them smoking weed? So is snorting coke okay? What if they, you know, take a picture of themselves eating a turd? Would you, um, would you share that? We don't need to go any further because I'm just gonna dive into like really gross analogies. <laughs> but you get the point. Like, are you being serious? I genuinely don't know if he's trolling. Um, if he is, then I stand corrected, I'm wrong. You know, um, you fooled me, sir. Good job. Well played. But like, is he being serious though? Because he is a conservative and conservatives are most likely to not support pot legalization or the use of marijuana. Although I will say that even if that's the case, even if they're more likely to not support weed, uh, still a majority of conservatives support the legalization of marijuana. In fact, 67% of Americans, two-thirds of the country support legal weed, and that includes a majority of people in every single demographic. And yes, I mean a majority and not a plurality. And that even includes Republicans, like I alluded to earlier, 55% of which say pot should be legal. This is very popular. So if you are against something that's popular, then by definition, you're not a populist. If you're falling for antiquated reefer madness hysteria, you're not a populist. You're just a standard conservative or a corporate Democrat. So, I mean, part of me thinks that, like, he's not being serious because it's so absurd to think that someone who's younger would be against pot legalization, regardless if they are a Republican or a Democrat or independent. Like, to be against it is so inconceivable to me that I have to think that you're trolling. But, I mean, up until this point... We don't know if he's being serious or not, but I mean, the fact that he put this out there, you have to assume that he is being serious. I mean, he's not known for being a big troll, unless I'm missing that, but like, if you honestly are concerned with pot, I mean, you're proving right-wing populism is a farce. Like, it's already difficult to believe that right-wing populism is a thing, because traditionally, like, I don't really view populism as being attached to the left or the right. It's just... A politician that supports someone uh, or supports policies that are popular. Um, not necessarily just a, po a politician, but like people. So, I mean, the fact that you attach that right-wing qualifier to it doesn't really make sense. Um, but, I mean, if you are going to be in support of populist policies, then how could you be conservative? Because everything that's popular currently is against conservatism. I mean, do you want to raise the minimum wage? Do you support Medicare for all? If you do, then great. But I mean, to be a right-wing populist, that seems like an oxymoron. So um, yeah, I genuinely don't know if he's trolling. I don't know the fact that I'm not sure. That shows you why conservatives like are so unpopular, why they're not populist, because we should know that you support pot legalization and promote the use of pot if you're a populist, because it's harmless. There's nothing wrong with it. But because I'm talking about this, um, of course, I'm going to share my uh, satirical propaganda piece that I put out a couple of years ago. It didn't get nearly as much attention as it deserved. So whenever I talk about this story, I feel inclined to share it because I think that people need to see this because I worked hard on it. And I, I think it's it's good. It's objectively good. So it's a little bit outdated, but I think it's still relevant You know, for politicians who are against pot legalization. So I will leave you with my... Uh, Truth About Marijuana propaganda piece that's supposed to be, you know, a parody of all of this hysteria against marijuana. Since the dawn of time, mankind has been plagued by war, poverty, and natural disasters. But nothing can compare to the most destructive force in the world, 
marijuana. Legalization of marijuana for tax purposes, and, and that's the only way people justify it, because you can't justify it in any other way. It's blood money. I mean, people on pot that shoot each other, the, that the, stab the, the each other, lives, strangle each brain, other, drive family. under the influence, kill families, wipe out a whole family. Marijuana leads to doing worse things. That's just a fact. I don't care what anybody says, what the debate is. The only reason you use weed outside of a medical situation is to intoxicate yourself. But we also have anecdotal evidence now from Colorado where some of the people who were um, taking uh, marijuana for those purposes, um, the coroner uh, believes after they died there was drug interactions with other things they were taking. Even a single marijuana can be deadly. The liberal media hides the truth about marijuana, arguing it's safer than alcohol and cigarettes. But even just one, marijuana can tear apart families. All right, I'll, I'll get straight to the point. I found marijuana in the house. Lead to death. Or worse, cause homosexuality. Those that know the truth are laughed at. So what we have here is a case of money over morality. And you know, right now, it's, it's really funny. Folks, we're watching the, the chuckleheads, you know, we're watching these uh, folks doing what they're doing out there and getting a good laugh about it. But when the body count starts rising, when people start dying, then maybe, yeah, yeah it's real funny, isn't it? Real funny, real funny to talk about. Meanwhile, people are dying. This man died after taking just one marijuana. His friends told him it was safe because they heard it from liberal cucks like T.J. Kirk, Secular Talk, and The Humanist Report. We must stop the marijuana epidemic now, and you can help. Share this video with your friends. It could save a life. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad, very sad. I'm unsubscribing.